Hi, I'm Felicia. And I'm Giancarlo. And this is our review of... Preview. Oh. God damn Felicia. I did not... What the f***? Boxes have been better than the other one. Oh, <laughs> look, there, there, there we go. It's like, oh shit, this better is so good. Better paper, I don't know. Uh, it's our preview of Deadly Vacation. The ultimate assassin game. This is really terrifying. Oh, sorry. That was just assassin <laughs> instinct to like... This is terrifying. Why is it terrifying? Because I... You We've just... all heard stories of people who go on like cruises or whatever. Like it's always on 2020. Like lost at sea and the family couldn't find the person. Yeah, well that's because... Right? This because American is TV like. is like fear mongering. Like Yo, fear, fear, like, fear. Like if I get on a cruise and like these people are... The, like, look at <laughs> they this look guy. Like <laughs> Come on, Rodrigo over here just looks like he's gonna slice your throat any freaking second. How innocent she looks. She's gonna do you a little hula dance and then like, and it's <gasps> over. In Deadly Vacation, players are playing as assassins trying to kill each other. In the box, you'll get a game board representing the resort where your target is at, a bunch of tokens ranging from health markers, player markers clue markers, and cash tokens, 10 character sheets with special abilities and dials to keep track of needs, target cards so you know which character you're trying to assassinate, a bulletin board you'll be using to give out clues and get clues, and a bunch of action cards which will help you to accomplish your mission. Be the assassin with the most point at the end of the game to win. Here's how to set up. Choose a character and take all his tokens and appropriate cards. Take the two cards from each of the characters and make two decks of targets. Now each player will draw one card from the first deck. This will give him his first target. Each player starts at full health and places their pawn on their starting space on the board. Place the two patrolmen on the blue circles on the board. Each player will place one of their suitcases on each spot with that icon. Place the round marker at the start of the track. And finally, shuffle all the action cards and deal out three to each player. You're now ready to kill. Each character has four action points during a turn. You can move one space adjacent to where you are or use shortcuts. You can trigger a kill or ranged kill area, which is used to kill your target. You can plant or play hidden cards from your hand. This is the only action that is free. You can spend an action point to look at one of the face down tokens. And finally, you can spend two action points to remove a bomb or camera from your current spot. Once you used up the four action points, you can move any one of the patrol men one space. These guys can protect you and turn private locations into public ones. At the end of your turn, you will raise each one of your dials by one unless you visited those locations. For example, if you move past a bathroom on your turn, then your need to go to the bathroom is set to zero instead. If you ever go to the max of any dial, you lose a health point and a victory point. Now the next player will take his turn and so on. When it reaches the first player again, move the round marker up one on the track. Now let's talk about how to kill your target. You have three ways of killing your target, but you have to watch out where you do it. If you do it on a white space, these are exposed areas and people will catch you in the act making your kill invalid. You can also do a ranged kill from a red icon space to any attached red circle. Other ways of killing your target is by action cards like remote bombs or simple knife will also do. Now, let's talk about how you get victory points. You get one if your target dies for any reason other than you killing him. You get two points if you did the actual killing. You never kill a player who is not your target unless they are unprotected, which will give you one point. If you try to kill someone and another player reveals a camera, you don't kill and you lose one point. The player who planted the camera gets one point for sabotaging a killing. If you think you know who your killer is, go see a patrolman and call out the player. If you are right, he is arrested and killed and you get one point for that. However, if you are wrong, you lose one point and you become unprotected, meaning anyone can kill you. When you die, you simply remove your guy from the board and lose one point. Yes, you can go below zero into the negatives. At the start of your turn, you place your character on any green starting circle, but can't attempt to kill this turn. Now, let's talk about action cards. The ones that say play are simply played and the action takes effect. The plant cards are placed face down in one of your slots, and then you place a token of the same number as a slot on your location. Like this security camera, for example only you know what you planted there. Now let's take a look at a bulletin board. At the end of each round, each player draws two action cards, then places a clue token on the board, something about their target. So if your target is female, place your clue token on female. As the game progresses, you'll get clues of who's after you. 
so try to avoid those characters. The game comes with variant modes of playing including hardcore tournament mode, two player gang wars and evidence hunt. Check out Deadly Vacation and if you like it, back it.